is the 10,000 meters final. Three chances. Who's going to take it? We are waiting to see and for the start of this one. And of course, we'll be watching out for Rebecca and Jerry Mwangi. She's been very impressive in the in the weekend meets, uh, the Athletics Kenya uh, track and field weekend meets. And this is promising to be one race that we'll be looking forward to see who gets the uh, minimum, rather the standard qualification time of 30 min 35 minutes, 20. Competition. And away we go. The women's 10,000 meters where we'll be picking the three athletes who, has, who are going to represent Kenya in Accra. Of course, a very rich field here of athletes. You can see very, very slow measured start here. Nobody really wants to inject too much space here as they begin of course that may just work against you as the race advances so the trick here is just run a very controlled race uh, don't burn yourself out uh, this early with still a long long way to go Pardon me, I because I actually won the 5,000 meters uh, in the last edition and not the 10,000. Uh, the 10,000 was won by Ethiopia, who did a podium sweep uh, with Sehai Gemechu winning the gold in 31 minutes, 55 seconds, point nine two, uh, which was followed by Zeynaiba Yimer also from Ethiopia with uh, Dera Dida uh, finishing third. So, of course, uh, Kenya will be looking to get a hold of that title. And I think uh, we have a good field here. And I, I believe that the top three athletes who come from here will be able to give Ethiopia a run for their money. It's not all about the Ethiopians, by the way, because you look at the likes of uh, uh, South Africa, they're coming really well in that one. Tanzania is also going to be represented. We'll be waiting to see also the Ugandans, what they're capable of doing in this one. And of course, it being held in Accra, Ghana, I know the home girls will want to make a mark also in the athletic scene. Remember, this is an, an Olympic year, so everyone is trying. This will also act as a qualifier for the Olympics that will be held in Paris uh, later on this year. And that um, straight away leading, as usual, Sandra Phyllis Chebet, uh, pedigree athlete over the 10,000 meters. It's so hard to tell who's going to take the first break here because you look at them, they are really, really close to each other. Look at that. Uh, that is Janet Chepngeng of Keringet also coming through. And of course, uh, Edina Jerio, Teach Kibi Watt. End of the race. Uh, still some distance to go, uh, but this is where really now you start... Uh, putting the pressure on the rest of the athletes, asking them questions. Uh, so far, uh, the answers are there. Uh, every athlete looks like they have the answer, really, to keep up with this pace. Uh, but it's just a matter of time, really, and I'm sure that uh, maybe one or two athletes will get impatient with this pace, or rather they'll just feel like, no, we can inject a bit more. This is a bit too slow for me. Uh, and of course, you, they, there's so much at stake here. Um, not just the African Games that are happening this weekend. There's so much at stake. But they're still running here together as Rebecca Mwangi takes back her, the leading role there. We'll teach Kibi Watt in second and the favorite of course, Sandra Phyllis Chebet in third currently, the former World Junior Champion. Yeah, and you can see here um, Edna Jero teach Kibi Watt. Um, also just trying to put herself uh, ahead here. Uh, she, she, she feels comfortable to uh, challenge uh, Rebecca Mwangi and Sandra Felis uh, Chebet, uh, who've been, uh, the two of them who've been exchanging the leads here uh, since the, the second laugh, I must say. Uh, but you can see here uh, Janet, the tall figure of Janet there, uh, trying to challenge uh, Rebecca for that lead. Good strides there. As you can see in your images, uh, their feet really going on in sync. Uh, very beautiful images there, you can see. 
uh, just shows you that these are athletes who are uh, in sync with uh, with their speed. Uh, of course, in most of these long distance races, you always want to. Like, uh, she's falling behind here. As we see, Edina Jer uh, Jerotichki be what there. I think the pace that she's injected here is uh, taking a toll on the rest of the athletes. Uh, with Rebecca Jerimwangi, especially looks like uh, she is out of it. Rebecca is out of it. I can call. Uh, she she'll need to put in some a lot of effort and energy here for her to close down on the top uh, three. As Edina Kibuot crosses the line, under Felix, I think. The pace that they set initially, uh, last two, three races whereby they were on the lead, I feel like uh, it's taken a toll on them. As you see, uh, Edina Kibiwot, some 20 meters ahead of the, of the race and looks like uh, she wants to take this home. Of course, early days in this one, but then you look at the way uh, Edna Jerotich, Kibiwot of Iten, has taken matters into her own hands, injecting that pace and ensuring that she breaks away from the rest of the field. This will be very interesting, especially heading into the last quarter of this race. Remember, this is the 10,000 meters women final. Three opportunities. Number one, two, and three, of course, will be selected. But Edina is still really leading this race uh, quite comfortably, if you ask me. But Janet uh, Chepnetich looks like she's not content with second place. She split the, the, the field, uh, did her big favor. But in terms of who's winning it, looks like Janet uh, really has the momentum and the endurance to, to go all the way and win it. As she looks behind to see where the rest of the field are. We are looking at a race that has two very, very, very good athletes. And now you can see the overtaking lane. The indicators have been uh, lit. And that is Janet Chepnetich now taking the lead. And I think it, the difference was when um, Edna Jerotich went at the water point to take to quench her thirst and it was an opportunity for uh, Janet Chepnetich to come and pounce close in the gap and we can see she is now in the lead and of course in the lead right now is Rebecca Mwangi Sandra Phyllis Chebel seems to have dropped out of the race we'll be looking we'll be waiting to see what really happened uh, Sandra Phyllis dropped out of the race and now currently occupying the third place is uh, Rebecca Mwangi and we'll be waiting to see what comes out of this one but right now in the lead very comfortably is Janet Chepnetich of Keringet Edna Jerotich Kibiwot currently in second she seems to be tiring a little bit just as Steve says and maybe just maybe Rebecca Mwangi might smell blood here but then it's a huge huge distance close to 200 meters of the 50 meters behind uh, her compatriot here, Janet, of course, uh, Janet here from Keringit and Edina from Iten and Rebecca Mwangi running as an individual athlete. But the moment they go to Ghana, they are going to be putting on the Kenyan kit. They'll be representing the country and hoping to wrestle the title from Ethiopia. And not just Ethiopia. Uh, this is a distance that world over is becoming ever so competitive. Uh, remember, it's a competition that Kenya has con continuously um, Kenya has continuously won uh, the likes of Helen Obiri, the great Vivian Cheruyot, some of the athletes who have made Kenya proud in this distance. Of course, all this happening at the Nyayo National Stadium in Nairobi, the women's 10,000 meters final as Janet uh, grabs a bottle of water there I believe that will be the last one uh, she'll be able to last her until uh, she crosses the line here to win at uh, this final ah. 
very focused run here by the leader from Iten, from Keringet rather. As she comes to cross the line here. And she takes the bell. She takes the bell there. Janet tapping at each. It's daylight between her and the second place athlete here, Edina Kibiwot, who is just getting into the bell now. As she gets uh, an applause from the crowd just to push her. She gets the bell there. Edina Kibiwot, who made the decisive uh, move in this uh, in this race, uh, but then she pumped too much, and that gave uh, Janet Chapnet the opportunity to pass her at some point. As Rebecca Mwangi also gets the bell here, she's going to finish third. Takes the bend there. Janet Chepnetich. She's coming to win this. Janet Chepnetich injects the last pace. Very controlled run. Beautiful run. Look at that finish. You think like you feel you feel like she just finished this race and you feel like she still has the energy really to go another.